And you believe in astrology. You believe that astrology can tell you about people. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I don't live my life by it, but I do think that you, it, it's, it has its merits, just like neuroscience and uh, astronomy and all right. sorts of things. So I do check on people usually. I do their charts if I'm going to be working with them for long periods of time. So if you're going to work with someone like a director or something like that, you ask them, yes, when, definitely. What, what's your astrological sign? Well, no, 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 it's so much more complicated. And I ask for a birth time, birth place. Um, I need the specifics. Hello stars, welcome to Astrology Moon, I'm Kaimi here to help you out with Megan Fox's birth chart. Let's begin by examining Mercury's placement in Megan Fox's birth chart. Mercury, the planet associated with thoughts, logic, communication, and agility, is positioned in Taurus at 16 degrees. This places it in the second deacon of Virgo, co-ruled by Mercury itself. This alignment allows Mercury to feel at ease, as it is influenced by its close companion Venus and its own energy. In Taurus, known for its stability as a fixed sign, Mercury's pace tends to slow down. While Mercury typically prompts individuals to speak freely and sometimes impulsively, Megan Fox is likely to pause and consider her words before expressing herself. She is conscious of avoiding regrets in communication, focusing on delivering her message succinctly. Moreover, Mercury's placement in Taurus ruled by Venus suggests an inclination towards artistry rather than academia. Venus as Mercury's dispositor infuses Mercury with its energy shaping Megan's learning style. In a slower paced Taurus environment, Megan may require more freedom for interpretation leading to a slower learning pace. Considering the importance of early education for Mercury, it is probable that a young Megan was deeply influenced by art, self-expression, acting, and entrepreneurial endeavors. Additionally, Megan's Mercury finds itself situated in the fourth house governed by the moon, symbolizing emotions and deep-rooted experiences. Mercury, emblematic of logical thinking, encounters a unique dynamic in this placement as it navigates the fixed sign of Taurus amongst a sea of emotions, memories, and healing processes. The moon position in Leo in the seventh house of relationships forms a square aspect with Mercury. This aspect suggests a tension between Mercury's analytical nature and the emotional landscape represented by the moon. The seventh house's association with relationships hints at a significant influence, possibly stemming from the maternal figure, given the moon's representation of the mother in the chart. The presence of the square aspect implies a certain detachment or strain in Megan's relationship with her mother, possibly due to factors such as the mother's focus on external connections or a post-divorce adjustment. Despite any complexities, Megan's moon in Leo radiates charm and attractiveness, drawing admiration from others. However, it also suggests a need for the mother figure to seek fulfillment outside of the traditional familial role, perhaps by embracing new models of self-expression and relationships. In Megan Fox's birth chart, the sun occupies the fourth house, exerting a profound influence on her sense of stability family dynamics, and emotional foundation. The sun represents vitality, courage, and familial bonds, embodying values of security and support. Mercury's placement in the fourth house signifies a lasting emotional connection to male figures, particularly her biological father. This connection may manifest through memories, mementos, or even his presence in her life, shaping Megan's perceptions of fatherhood and male authority figures. Despite her mother's remarriage, Megan may struggle to fully embrace new father figures, harboring a sense of emptiness or longing within her emotional landscape. Additionally, encounters with new male figures may evoke mixed feelings as Megan navigates the delicate balance between nurturing her emotional well-being and guarding against potential emotional harm. Her experience with her stepfather's past emotional abuse sheds light on the complexities of her familial relationships and underscores the importance of creating a safe and supportive environment within her inner sanctum. The moon's placement on a birth chart reflects a deep connection of emotions, past experiences, and relationships. 
which may draw Megan Fox into patterns of romantic entanglements that ultimately prove to be unhealthy or unfulfilling. This pattern, influenced by her mother's own relationship history, adds a layer of complexity to Megan's journey, illustrating the challenges she faces in forming a lasting and fulfilling partnerships. With these challenges, Megan's chart also reveals a glimmer of hope and potential for growth, particularly through the presence of Yod energy and the sextile between Pluto and Neptune. Pluto and Neptune in a sextile aspect, characteristic of the Pluto in Scorpio generation, imbue Megan with a sense of dreaminess, artistic flair, and the belief in a brighter future beyond the shadows of her past familial experiences. Neptune's placement in the 12th house signifies both struggles and opportunities for transcendence. While Megan may grapple with fears and insecurities stemming from her past, Neptune's hopeful energy encourages her to envision a future filled with possibilities and renewal. However, Megan's chart also reflects internal conflicts and challenges, notably represented by Mars in the 12th house. Mars symbolizing aggression, conflict, and sexual energy brings to the complexity of Megan's psyche. Its trine aspect with the sun in the 4th house suggests a preference for male company particularly positive male influences. This preference may stem from Megan's earlier experiences, when she may have felt alienated or bullied by female peers, finding solace and camaraderie amongst boys. Mars representing masculine energy and action may have manifested in Megan's tomboyish demeanor, leading her to be perceived as cool and one of the boys by her peers. However, this perception may have also elicited feelings of threat or insecurity among some, especially if they perceive her as a sexual being due to Mars' association with sexuality. Meanwhile, Neptune serves as both Megan's prison and savior. While it may have contributed to her classmates' perceptions of her as intimidating or enigmatic, it also blessed her with artistic talent, creativity, and an aura of mystique. The Yod aspect between Pluto and Neptune further accentuates Megan's uniqueness and complexity as she navigates the challenges of self-identity and communication with others. The Yod aspect is a tug of war, but an unfair one, as two pulls against one. The presence of three T-squares in Megan's chart suggests a strong drive for success and achievement which aligns with my observation that many wealthy individuals possess T-squares in their charts. However, that is for another video, so be on the lookout for that. In Fox's childhood dream, Megan Fox, who stars as April O'Neil in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot, admits her childhood self would rather have played a different character. Everyone's like, you know, how did you grow up idolizing April? And I'm always like, not really, I kind of always wanted to be a turtle. Mikey specifically, maybe for Halloween. Megan's ambitious nature, highlighted by Jupiter's presence in two of her T-squares, indicates her potential for financial success. Megan Fox's Jupiter in Pisces placement reflects a powerful attraction to the pursuits that resonate with her deepest desires and aspirations. From a young age, she found herself drawn to activities that allow her to express her creativity and sensitivity. Her journey from dance to modeling and then to acting mirrors the Piscean energy of love, expression, and spiritual direction. Pisces, known for its sensitivity and inclination towards completion and rehabilitation, aligns with Jupiter's expansive nature, allowing Megan to find fulfillment and healing through her artistic expressions. In the second house, Jupiter's presence suggests a potential for extravagance and abundance encouraging Megan to pursue a lifestyle that reflects her expanding sense of self-worth and material prosperity. This expansion may attract opportunities and resources that enable her to sustain and protect her newfound success. Megan Fox's chart also reveals the presence of Uranus in Sagittarius, presenting a complex interplay of energies that can pose challenges in her relationships and personal growth. Uranus symbolizing originality, freedom, and sudden changes finds itself in opposition to Venus in Gemini, 
adding a layer of tension and unpredictability to her romantic experiences. Venus in Gemini signifies a love language characterized by beauty, curiosity, and a youthful exuberance for new experiences. However, Uranus's opposition to Venus suggests that the flame of romance may burn out quickly, and the excitement of new relationships may fade rapidly. Uranus's restless nature, especially in the adventurous sign of Sagittarius, can make it difficult for Megan to establish long-lasting roots in her relationships, as she may be drawn to change and novelty. Moreover, Saturn's presence in Sagittarius adds another layer to Megan's chart. Saturn, traditionally associated with structure, discipline, and authority, faces challenges in this sign due to its weakened state as a result of its historical conflicts with Jupiter and Uranus. This affliction may manifest as difficulty, especially when it comes to listening or accepting advice from other people. This is because Megan may struggle to find stability and structure among the unpredictable energies of Uranus. While Uranus's influence may bring excitement and spontaneity, it may also lead to instability and difficulty in forming lasting connections. Meanwhile, Saturn's affliction underscores the importance of finding balance and stability amidst the flux of change and unpredictability. The influence of Saturn in Megan Fox's chart extends beyond difficulties in accepting advice or guidance from others. It also manifests in more tangible ways, contributing to her struggles with body dysmorphia. Saturn, as a celestial body of authority restrictions and karmic retributions, casts a shadow over Venus, the planet representing beauty, love, body, and self-esteem. The ongoing conflict between Venus and Saturn symbolizes a struggle between self-image and external expectations. While other people may perceive Megan as a sex symbol or beauty and allure, Saturn's influence weighs heavily on her sense of self-worth imposing limitations and restrictions that undermine her confidence and self-perception. This internal conflict can manifest as negative thoughts and feelings about her physical appearance. Despite external validation and admiration, Megan's experience with body dysmorphia reflects the profound impact of Saturn's affliction on her psyche. As she grapples with feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt in the face of societal standards and expectations, Saturn's influence acts as a barrier to Megan's ability to fully embrace and celebrate her own beauty and uniqueness, chaining her to a perception of herself that is tainted by self-criticism and insecurity. Overcoming this challenge requires a journey of self-discovery and acceptance. This is when Megan can learn to break free from Saturn's constraints and embrace her true essence with compassion and love. If there are any other aspects of Megan Fox's chart you would like to explore or discuss further, feel free to write in the comments below. I want to say thank you so much for coming on by watching this video, it means a lot to me. If you have not already, please like this video, share this video with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you in another video, stars. Until then, goodbye.